Because right now we've got uh, tentatively scheduled uh, next Tuesday for a meeting, which is of course two days before Thanksgiving. And as you know, um, pardon me, Liz. Tough. As you know, we discussed this earlier in the spring when I created this initial schedule, and um, here it is here, a regular monthly meeting reserved two days before Thanksgiving, which is hoped not to be needed. Uh, and we all agreed we would strive to not have to have that meeting. But I think we have to look at the subsequent meetings that follow to make sure that we have captured, first of all, everything, nothing's missed, and also go through these items and think, well, maybe some of these people we don't need to come in, for example. My favorite example is mosquito control. Maybe we don't have to have them come in. Uh, so that's what this uh, item on the new business for the schedule is about, is the content of the schedule. Um, so is there anything I'm missing on this? Uh, Brian, Brian, I'm hearing you want to have an item in there for well, I don't. Talk? Well, first of all, let me just say this. Um, we are approving budgets for the entire town. What's this stuff now? Now we're going to pick and choose. What happens if the mosquito control has a half a million dollar budget next year? I said it was an example. I'm not. I think there. every department needs to come in. Okay. And so is anybody it. missing? Well, I don't see, but there's mosquito there in my eyesight. It's yes, it is right there. Okay, so there's nobody. Ta I, I, yeah, we have ta tax collector on a different night than town clerk. Is that a reason for that? Or no? Sometimes. Mosquito control that right here. Is. When do we discuss the administration, town administration? When is that? Town administration. General government. General yeah. government, yeah. Yeah, well, that we better be, have a whole night for that. That would be right after Thanksgiving. That's why I pulled things like the town clerk and some of the other uh, large topics off of that November 28 date because of discussions I had with you about large, large discussion on general government. Yeah. Uh, so that was actually one line on I split them into two. And can I ask, uh, not to go ahead for, for our school board representative, when are we getting the school board book? Well, I believe we're December 18th. We're December uh, 4th. 4th, is that what it is? That's three weeks. That sounds about right. That's about yeah. the time that it And we're finishing up. We have one final meeting, yeah. which will be tomorrow. Right, the meeting's Tuesday the 4th. It's about the right time. We have a budget, okay. Excuse me, can I have a floor? Okay. We have a... Final meeting tomorrow. to finalize the budget tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. okay. Once we complete that, we will be more than willing to provide books as we've always done, probably prior to the actual date. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Is it going to be Friday we come in and get them? That's all I'm asking. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll be. They always uh, send it'll be, yeah. it'll be during the I have the a key to the town week. hall anyway, so I'll come in okay. on the weekends. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I had to turn that in, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> SA 90 budget books are unlikely to be stored in the town hall. Yeah, right. No, you can pick No, I know that. I'm just saying in general. Right. No, I don't have a problem. Mary It'll Louise? be a good budget. Yes. And, and we don't want to be sitting here for the rest of the night. I do want to point out, I had to chuckle um, when uh, Mr. LeBranch mentioned uh, the, the budget committee meeting till midnight. Uh, the original budget committees were composed of 12 elected officials and the three appointees, and you, you, we are now down to six elected officials, so the budget committee basically has been cut in half. Right. I don't imagine uh, any of you will be going to midnight. But my concern is There's no beach representation tonight, just for the record. Yeah. No. So let's stay on the content of the my, schedule. My concern, gentlemen, is this. The chairman is very, very talented at technology, but content, Hampton, content. We'll Hampton deal with, we'll by, deal with your complaint no, 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 on distribution no, no, no. in a minute. Wait, just, Let's take care of the content first. Well, let him speak. Let, let her speak. Let her speak. I'm trying to keep people on topic. The topic is the content of our schedule. Is there's nothing apparently missing? No one has indicated anything. Is there anything to be should be removed? Apparently none. Does anyone want to move things around at all? I, I, These are the questions relative to content I'm trying to deal with. Okay, I think, you know, the mosquito thing should probably be wavered. It's only a hundred thousand dollars, and it's slightly increased. But it, from the overall perspective, we're not talking about a lot of money to the relative bottom line of the budget. And it's my thinking, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. If anybody insists on any one of these people coming in, we're going to have them come in. Okay. All right. So apparently, I Mr. Walker. The mosquito people. I, I so we have we have an assistance that we don't want any removal from one member 
and that's enough to end that discussion, okay? Now the question is, sh does anyone need to be moved around, or does anything need to be added? For example, some people were talking about adding um, a rolling stock as a well, separate yeah, topic. Do you want that to be added? If so, where? Here's your chance. <laughs> if you're going to review rolling stock, and he's going to change the list when he submits a warrant article, maybe right? that's Why the time. Why would you do it then? Because this yeah. warrant article is proposed to replace this. Yeah. Number 22, number 38. So we can do it at the time we discuss yeah. his war article. Because he's he's going to propose what, it, what he wants to replace. I agree. I agree. If, if you talk about what he wants to replace before he knows what he wants to replace, you're not going to know. So let's wants. wait to the war article discussion. I would do that with the but, war articles but, I propose. Excuse me. But I have a question just oh. to add to Mr. Moore. So they proposed the article, the Warren article, and I want to buy ABC new trucks. <coughs> Two trucks. Yeah. During those discussions, we should also be able to ask about X, Y, Z, number nine and number ten on his list. Yes. Yes. To make right. sure they're right. getting rid of them. Correct? Oh, absolutely. To, yes. to, to That's see fine. what Thank you, Mike. would replace what he has now that needs to be replaced. Correct. I'm with you. I do it all at the same time. I agree with you. Thank Sounds you, good Mike. to me. <clears throat> so look at our overall fixed asset probably even as a prelude to the, all the Warren articles, I imagine, might be a, an idea. What do you guys think about that? Repeat uh, that, please. To look at the overall fixed asset um, situation. Such uh, as police vehicles and the police department everything firing is, everything into the fire. fixed asset, yeah. 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 I think we should. There's a prelude to that. I've got... Um, you recall a few meetings ago, we had uh, I requested uh, Chris to come in and do a thing on all of our funds, and we tabled that to a subsequent meeting. As you see, I mean, it's December 6th. It's at the tail end of December 6th there. Um, and I'm wondering if that should be, if we should put the fixed asset at the tail end of that, uh, or whether we should just take the funds and the fixed assets and put it into a separate meeting by themselves. What do you guys think? Isn't going to be too long a meeting, is it? Well, who's the person? Uh, I don't know. The assessing has been outsourced, so I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of conversation a lot on that. Of discussion. Uh, we're outsourcing the website Infotech and the website associated with that. Yeah, there may be right. some discussion on that. Shouldn't you be, be uh, talking about fixed assets when the people are here from that department? Well, we shouldn't be looking at a list of fixed assets. Do we yeah, need right. them to respond? Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. No. We, we will formulate questions. Uh, the fixed asset is actually something that's dealt with entirely by the finance department, so Christy will be here presenting the fixed assets. Yeah, and they're coming okay. in the 8th anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the 6th. Well, she's, she's yeah. going to be here at every budget. Yeah. budget right, workshop. but we're specifically going to talk about her finance department, right. so why not ask it then? No? And, and that's fine. I was suggesting yeah. as one of the options. That might be a good, because you've got assessing and review. And, yeah, we might have some time that night. Well, we, actually, that won't be a bad night, because town clerk, that will go through. Yeah. yeah. That, that should, yeah, the 6th, the 28th is too too much in that agenda. Can't add it there. Everybody comfortable with 12 6 having the addition yep. of fixed assets? Yep. And okay. then the school is the summer 4th. Any other thoughts on the content of our calendar? All set. I you remind you guys that when you go over to HamptonBud.com, there's this important dates thing here, which is what I built the schedule on, on the monitor now. And you can see the last dates for these petitions. So we could be looking at warrant articles very close to our public hearing. So as usual, every year we get, you know, a, not just real snow, but we get snowed with warrant articles to be dealing with. So, um, you know, when it gets into the January, between doing the final budget reviews and, and taking care of the, the mountain of warrant articles that may come our way, we're going to be pretty tight in January. So uh, let's try to get everything done on the schedule as we can in December. That's what I'm trying to suggest. So please think of anything that might be missing here or you might want to move around. Mr. Morrow. I'm having a little bit of a struggle, which I usually do. <coughs> when I was working at Liberty Mutual for <coughs> X number of years, <coughs> I always wanted the people to tell me their problems and all those problems. I was that type of a person. 
Now, a lot of it sounds like griping and this, this, and this. But there's a reason for that. Why? I was the type of person, I wanted to hear all the problems and I wanted to hear all the gripes. Then I'd take the right people who would talk about A versus B and C into a room. Now that we all agree there's a problem, we all agree exactly what it is, what are we going to do about it? What's the solution and what's the fix? So griping without having a solution or griping without having a thing, how do we do it? So here's my struggle. I'm agreeing with Brian, we need to get to the detail. But we're not the board of selectmen. Right. You're the governing body. Right. So I might have a lot of solutions, but they don't work in the budget area. That that makes the struggle I have. Now, some of you gentlemen mm -hmm. were selectmen, and now you're budget people. So you've, you've been in both sides of the aisle. You're a select person, you're a select person, you're a select person. But you have not. <laughs> you're grade A without the select. Please, please keep in mind, we're talking about the contents of the schedule. So, and, so my point being, well, I don't, the content of the schedule is going to mean deciding what we're going to talk about. What talk about fixed assets if we can't do anything and solve it? Well, it's to be educated on the status of fixed assets. That's the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Pardon me? It's to be educated on the status of fixed assets and how they're processed. Uh, and that's what it's all about, just getting education on it. So, the, but, but remember, remember to Tim, and I know Tim knows this, very important thing you have to understand. We, this budget that we're talking about, 2019, is ours. Right. When the voters, and Tim always says it right, at the liberal session, the, uh, the legislative body, after that it goes to the voters. Mm -hmm. Right. When a budget, which in this case will be now the fall budget, at that point, it's the selectman's budget, Mary Louise Woolsey and company. Right. We absolutely have a right to go line by line. Nobody's telling Chris Jacobs or any of these people, okay, I want you to take 20000 and you're going to spend it on this. But we have a right to raise the questions because guess what? We can cut the budget anytime we want, the final budget. We can add to it, as Mr. Mm -hmm. Jones said earlier about coming back to review. So it's not like we're telling them what to do, but we, this is our budget. This is what we're responsible for putting this to, to, the, uh, to, to the voters. Anything else on the content of the schedule, Mary Louise? Discussion, especially on the fixed assets and the uh, vehicles, particularly for public yep. works, you want to at least be able to inform the public right. of a basically a problem. And, and I'm happy for the way that Mr. Jacobs has crafted uh, his vehicle listings and showing us the conditions of them and so forth, because that's important. All right, we're talking schedule, and I, I, I have a big problem, and you and I have discussed this. On content. Hampton, content but first. Hampton. Are we done with content? You'll have your chance. No, no, no. I'm on. This is my chance right here because I'm looking at the screen. 